welcome to Elisa's kitchen. Some occasions in life demand a special dish and today in our kitchen we are going to convert the humble potato into shahi aloo or our version of dum aloo. Let us see how we are going to make this dish and you enjoy the recipe. Okay, let us look at the ingredients that we need for making our shahi aloo. I have taken baby potatoes here. These are parboiled and peeled baby potatoes. I have a medium sized onion that I have sliced thinly. Then I have some masalas here. I have a tablespoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of jeera powder, one fourth teaspoon of Kashmiri lal mirch powder. Then I have a little pinch of kasuri methi, one fourth teaspoon of turmeric. Then I have some soap powder and salt to taste. I also have some garam masala, sabut garam masala here. I have one bay leaf, about four to five cloves, a small piece of cinnamon stick and a badi elaichi or a large elaichi, three or four cardamoms, green cardamoms, a few peppercorns and half a teaspoon of jeera. And I have some ground garlic, some ground ginger, I have some chopped coriander, green chilli paste and some saffron to make it the shahi recipe. Some cashew nuts and some uh, badam, I have already soaked and peeled the badam and then I have ground it into a fine paste here and then I have a tablespoon of curd. These are the ingredients that we require and I have oil for deep frying the potatoes. Let's start and see how to go about making the shahi aloo. I'm going to be soaking the saffron with a little warm water first and put it to a side and while getting rest of the dish ready this will soak. I'm lighting my stove right now. Some oil, enough to deep fry the potato. The oil is hot enough right now. So I'm going to drop the potatoes gently. We need the oil to be very hot so that the potatoes brown very well first. Now I am using baby potatoes here, in case you can't find them easily, you can cut the regular potatoes into maybe 8 or 4 as you would like to. We have already cooked the potatoes, so they don't have to be cooking from right from the center we can do this very quickly just we need to fry them well so that we get a nice brown coating on the top in case you can't find the baby potatoes you can use the regular potatoes and cut them to the size you like these look well done so I'm going to Remove them onto a kitchen towel. Okay, these are done now. So I'm going to remove these brown potatoes onto a kitchen napkin. I'm taking about two teaspoons of oil. Okay, now the oil is heated. I'm using the same pan. I've removed the excess oil and now I'm going to fry some whole garam masala. I have one bay leaf here, tej patta. I have one large cardamom, a few cloves, a piece of cinnamon, some peppercorns and I have a few cardamoms. Make sure you open the cardamoms so that it doesn't splutter on your face. 
because the oil is going to be very hot. Let us fry this gently for a for a few seconds. Let us fry this gently for a few seconds and add our jeera. Make sure you stand at good distance so that the oil fluttering oil doesn't fall on you. One medium size sliced onion. We want the onion to brown well. So I am going to stand right here and keep mixing them so that they fry uniformly. The flavor of this entire dish depends on how well the onions have fried. They look good now. My masalas to this. I have coriander powder, jeera powder, some Kashmiri red chili powder, kasuri methi, some turmeric, and some powder and salt. Just give it a good stir so that the spices get well coated. We add in the curd now. Make sure that the curd is very well beaten before you add it. Add a little water. and the onions and the garam masala has cooked well and has reduced. I'm going to be taking this out into a plate so that it cools well. Okay, this is done. So I'm just going to switch off the flame and take it out from the... I'm going to take this off from the stove and leave it to cool for a couple of minutes. To fry my ginger, garlic, and the green chilies. I have taken about three green chilies here because most of the heat is only going to come from the green chilies. I am just going to let this cool for a while before I grind this to a fine paste along with the onions that we fried earlier. This has cooled enough. I'll remove the leaf and I'm going to add this to the jar here blender. Along with the ginger garlic and green chilli paste. Okay, this is ready now. Now this important step of straining this mixture will give the gravy a very nice consistency. And since we are making shahi or royal aloo, this will add a lot of silkiness to the whole gravy that we are making. Okay, this is done. Now we've got the rest of the masala here and on medium flame let us cook this gravy now I'm going to add my cashew and badam paste to this it's time to add the potatoes
let this simmer for a while for the potatoes to get all the flavor and now I am going to add the ingredient that makes it really royal I have some lovely saffron that has been soaking here I am going to add most of it and save a little for the garnish Let it simmer for a little while. And this is done. This looks, the baby looks good. The potatoes are done. Turn it off and add a few of these. And badam that we had for extra flavor. And I have some fresh cream here that I'm going to add as the final garnish. Decorate it with us. And now we have our lovely shahi alu curry with yummy parathas ready to be served. Enjoy the dish.